the atmosphere is building. This one is always a classic, but what drama will we have for you today? The story of the game as it unfolds, live next on EA TV. A warm welcome from the Amex Stadium in Brighton on England's south coast. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with the former England forward Sue Smith. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Brighton and Hove Albion and they play Crystal Palace. Cheers, Guy. Well, it's a pleasure to be here and I'm anticipating a good game today. The coaching staff have done all they can. Now it's about taking it onto the pitch. Here's how Brighton and Hove Albion line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker. But you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. Finds himself with space now. Behind it goes for a corner. corner is fired in there still could be something happening here well nothing doing for them in the end trying to force a mistake now it needs a good ball in and the ball is still alive this is the Crystal Palace lineup well, it looks like a 4-2-3-1 when they're in possession, may go to a 4-5-1 when defending. You'd think the double pivot in midfield, they're key to protect the back line, but they also need to get forward to support the press. There's going to be plenty of threat from the wide midfielders too, I'm sure. Gay. Unsurprising who we've singled out as our player to watch. What should we expect today, Sue? Well, it's just how good he is on the ball, the way he glides past players. He can go in the inside or the outside, and then he's got great end product. He's so creative. I just can't wait to watch him today. Hold on, Sue, they might be in. Oh, what a save. Well, he's a class goalkeeper, and he showed it there with that save. To the box it goes only half the job done there now what can they do from here crucial defending oh maybe a bit of space now Goalkeeper does what he's there to do. To edge ahead. Solly March. That's been viewed as a foul. A free kick's awarded. Well, he hasn't had his name taken. Well, I think that'll be his final warning. One more, and he'll be in the book. It's a lovely ball, there might be something building now. And they've lost it now. Allowed to go a long way with this. A 
and it's not the best of clearances. And it's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick. At least it was on target, and that's all you can say for it, really. Good challenge, and a throw-in will follow. Ward. Not so much given away as cleverly won. Played back to Johnston. And he's beaten his man here. That got a touch out. Throw in now. The chance to cross here. It might still happen. I don't know how he didn't score. Great defending. Well, it was a great save that from the keeper. Showed his agility there to keep the ball out. It's a real important save to keep it all square. The defence does its work. A bit sloppy in possession. Pushing forward with options available now. Decent looking cross played in. Well, it's always a difficult skill, and that one hasn't come off. It hasn't, and it's a poor attempt. He mistimes it. Looks a bit off balance as well. Well off target. Lerma, a turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. Need to get tighter here. And stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. To put them ahead. Well, he's kept that out nicely. Well, just listen to that roar. It's been quiet for a while, but this is a chance. And they're trying to push the team to take the lead. And the ball comes in. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. And there's the whistle, and that's it for the first half at the Annex. Well, he hasn't really been able to put his stamp on the game to this point. There's not been a great deal to admire. Yeah, he's not been involved enough for me, not seen enough for the ball. I think if they're to kick on in the second half, it's key that they get the ball into his feet just that little bit quicker. And so the second half kicks off. A really good interception to take the ball. It's a throw in for Brighton. sense that something could happen from this puts the ball into the box and there's the first goal of the match deadlock broken
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And it's a good finish, too. Able to make good contact. And I'm not sure the keeper could have done much about that, to be honest. The game needed a goal, that's what we've got. But what sort of response will we see now? Need to get tighter here. Already leading by one. Can they press home their advantage from this corner? Played towards the edge of the penalty area. Crucial defending. They need to be better on the ball than that. Eberechi Eze. Played back to Johnston. Jefferson Lerma. Edouard. Eberechi Eze. Able to skip past. Cut back nicely. No need to worry about that effort for the keeper. As the stats show, they've not created enough chances. And when they do get themselves into promising positions, the final ball has been lacking. They'll need to improve going forward if they want to get anything from this game. Work pays off, they've won the ball. A good advantage played by the ref. Well, with nothing coming from that, it will now be brought back for a free kick. Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. Number eight, Jefferson Lerner. They're allowing space, and he's finding it. Now to deliver a good ball in. And it's gone behind for a corner. Substitution for Brighton and Albion. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Mahmoud Dahoud. To be replaced by number 11, Billy Gilmer. They decide against putting it in. Joel Ward. Eberechi Eze. Trying his luck. Good work to recover possession. Could be a chance to break here. They have to get back at pace. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in.
2-0 then, as we get started again. Hughes. Eberechi Eze. Still going here. Could be a chance! But that hasn't worked out. Easily gathered by the keeper. The ref spotting the deflection. Throw in to come. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick to come. That'll be a Crystal Palace throw. Hughes. Are you? Will Hughes. And they've lost it now. Showing good width with this attack. Delivered into the box. Must clear his lines now. Good work to regain possession. And the attack is over. Free kick given. And this is the sort of area you want it given. And it's opened up! Well, he's kept that out nicely. It's put into the middle. And that's a corner that's simply been played straight into the keeper's gloves. Jeffrey Schlopp, breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. A quick break, and there's the whistle, it's a penalty. But it's only going to be a penalty, no yellow card. Yeah, usually you'd expect a card for that, so I can understand why the opposition are complaining. Huge moment this, and they have paid the penalty, it's been dispatched. Well, if you have a look at this again, it's a cool, calm penalty. The goalkeeper goes the wrong way and it's finished well, it's a really good strike. That makes it 2-1, and away we go again. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away, not least the three points, Sue. Yeah, it was a real competitive match. Both teams creating opportunities, but I think on the balance of play, they deserve the results. There have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Yeah, it was a good performance from him, wasn't it? On and off the ball, always seemed to be in the right place at the right time. He definitely played his part in the results.